best way to analyze trends in stocks is looking at the charts. So we have created one of the most fantastic charting libraries on the web. It's all available in the browser. You can use, use them on your tablets or even your phones if you really want to. Um, finding them is very straightforward. Let's search for stock. Let's, for example, search for Apple, uh, Apple Inc. And then you can use the sub tab to click charts. Bang, it's right there and you're straight into the charting library. You'll see to begin with a sort of naked chart, but I'm gonna give you a very quick overview of the interface and show you how to use it and show you how powerful it is. Let's say we've loaded up one stock, Apple. You can choose the type of chart that it is. Let's say if you wanna use candlesticks or bars, etc., you can do it from that menu. You can change the periodicity, which allows you to look at longer term timeframes like weekly charts, etc. And you can even add some nice events if you do have buys or sells in that stock, or you wanna look at any dividend payment dates or annual results dates, you can add them very, very easily into the chart. You can make drawings. There's a whole suite of drawings tools. Um, whether you wanna use, uh, just go and start doing, uh, drawing some lines on the chart, um, or actually do some more freehand, you can easily do it. And that is stored on the chart but permanently. You can even annotate it with specific annotations and I'll go into these tools in a little bit more detail in a um, in a future video uh, but it's but it's very very easy to add these annotations and to mark them up you can also add overlays so for example moving averages uh, which is which are very very popular with technical investors as well as indicators such as the MACD or the RSI which help you uh, look at different turning points in stocks um, you've got a great range in history of prices here. So if you look at the long, long term history of the price, you can really go back deeper in time as well as setting up a custom range. Um, and once you've done and configured your chart the way that you like it, you can actually save it as a template. So if I click in the bottom right, save as template, uh, my template, you can save this and it will always be available on any other stock chart that you, you, you want to review. Um, and you can have numerous templates, so you can look at short-term, medium-term, and long-term trends as you wish. Um, there's a full screen mode with this icon here, which gives you the maximum screen real estate so that you can go into your studies. You can share, which allows you to print or share to social media, should you wish to, um, and a more in-depth customization tool, which allows you to add, for example, the legend, or the uh, or even what is a lovely new feature called the range slider which allows you to scroll back in time and select a range for your charts these are very very powerful tools all available in the browser there's nothing on your desktop you don't need to download it um, and i hope you really enjoy them and dig deeper we'll go a little bit deeper into some of these other indicators in a in another playlist video cheers